At Power, that's where I had most of my experience to be able to take to New York. Like, when I got into programming, I was just the assistant. And so I was answering all the phone calls, opening up records and CDs at the time. They seemed to send CDs. I was um, writing, like, compliance letters, meaning, like, writing letters to record labels, asking them for products. And I, did, I did that for so long. I, I worked under someone else, but I did most, I did a lot of work. Like, it's just to say, like, if you didn't want to do it, I was going to have to learn how to do it and do it like put together research and like it's all those things that made me smarter at what I was doing just like being able to have that responsibility of like making a schedule on air for people to, like just you have to schedule jogs to be on air so on weekends and stuff like that you have to hire people you have to so all that work um, I put in like at the radio station at Power DJing for artists like, I didn't tell you about that but like I got to DJ for Jeremiah the new boys being at the right place at the right time I never went home I was always at the radio station. Like, I woke up there, like it was like a second home. So um, that's kind of my story. Like that's kind of like how I. You might see me in a lot of pictures of artists because I was always at work. I was always <laughs> there, like setting up, like meeting greets, DJing at high schools. Like it's a lot of work to put into it. And then so all that work like got me to be a music director. And then that after getting laid off, that got me to New York City to be able to use some contacts, like to go to some parties. Um, I had a friend that worked at uh, Sony Records and being at one of his DJ gigs, I got a DJ gig for VH1, like a save, like a save the music event. So it was just it's being at the right place at the right time. It's learning how to talk to people and mingle and not being scared. And like, I was shy, so I had to get <laughs> out of that being shy, you know, and, and trying to kind of step my game up a little bit and talk. So, so how come New York, how long were you there for? A little over a year, like a year and a half. Yeah. A year and a half. And how was it just living in New York? Uh, you know, the Big Apple. It was a hustle. Yeah. And the difference between like the uh, main difference is that out there, like when they say I have fifty cent or if I have Jay Z coming, like Jay Z probably is really gonna be there. If someone tells you like that's what I that's the impression I got being in New York, like they're not playing. Like this is this is this is real for them. This is like this is fast paced. This is real. Like we have to do this today. No, there's no tomorrow. Um, everything was really official. Learning that that was like night and day. Cause out here, sometimes people say things. I'm like, yeah, sure, you got. Or the show's canceled. Like they brought R. Kelly. The show's canceled. We don't we don't gotta pay. We, we can't pay you all your money. Like it's just out here, things will happen like that out there. Uh huh. It's like it's like life or death. It's like, you're gonna be there or you're not. If you miss that opportunity. Don't think it's gonna come again, you know what I mean? So my love, my baby, all night you make me want you, it drives me crazy.